Hey, welcome back to Business Incorporated. Egypt says it will delay plans to rent a third liquefied natural gas import terminal for a month until the Ministry of Electricity determines its LNG needs. Officials of the firm stated that the company decided to delay holding the tender for one month until the end of November. Uh, that is until an agreement is made with the Ministry of Electricity over its needs for LNG over the uh, coming period. An import terminal that converts LNG to natural gas to feed the power grid is expected to arrive at the end of June 2017 to handle a surge in LNG demand from new power plants coming online. Still from Egypt, this time looking at the currency, the pound was almost steady over the weekend as banks began trading freely for the first time since authorities dropped the currency's peg. This is meant to crush a black market and a clinch an international monetary fund loan. The pound weakened slightly from 15.5 against the greenback, an opening to 15.75 in the first 75 minutes. Banks were bidding for dollars around 15.6 and offering around 16. Despite the slow start, Egyptians expect further depreciation of the pound as banks struggle to meet pent-up dollar demand from companies that have struggled for two years to secure hard currency. And South Africa's round traded firmer against the dollar on Monday with dealers and analysts expecting mutual trade ahead of the U.S. elections. In early trade, the, the round was up 0.28% at 13.5675 to the dollar. Data from the central bank shows that the country's net foreign reserves fell slightly to $41.7 billion in October from $41.953 billion the previous month. The RAND firms, despite reports that Finance Minister Pravin Gordon will be charged over a surveillance unit at the tax agency he once ran. Okay, let's take you to Kenya, where the power uh, industry, industry says that it expects capital expenditure to fall 16% in its current financial year as it spends less on maintaining its greed. The country's sole electricity distributor said that the capital expenditure was likely to fall to 42 billion shillings. That's an equivalent of $9.9 million from $50 billion a year earlier. Last month, the company reported a pre-tax profit for the full year to the end of June 2016 of 12.1 billion shillings, a fall of 1.4% owing to the rising costs linked to the expansion in its transmission network. Now, Kenya Power said that it had been adding customers at a rate of 30% a year for the past three years and had 4.89 million customers connected to the grid at the end of June, given 60% of the population access to electricity. And more companies, uh, quarter companies in the Nigerian Stock Exchange are expected to publish their sustainable market reports by the end of this year. Now the requirement was, which aims to help listed companies comply with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals will report the firm's activities in their environment. In this interview with Channel's business producer, Temple Ashaju, the chief executive of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Oscar Onyema, explains the significance of the report. As you know, the capital market uh, provides financing for all kinds of uh, initiatives. Um, and one of them, uh, as driven by the United Nations, is really to get uh, stock exchanges under the Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiative uh, to catalyze the ecosystem of the uh, capital market, investors, issuers, regulators, to develop products and to make investments that would drive the implementation of sustainable development goals. Um, and so here in Nigeria, um, we've partnered with uh, several uh, ministries and capital market players to work on introducing several products, including the Green Bond, which we're doing with the Ministry of 
environment. Uh, it's a bond, a 20 billion naira bond that will be issued first quarter next year uh, by the debt management office of Nigeria. Um, and so that will be the very first green bond uh, in the country. And the green bond really is a bond that meets the green principles that allows you uh, to invest in projects uh, that reduce carbon emission, for example, or eco-friendly housing and stuff like that. So the capital market have, has a huge role to play in driving sustainability uh, in, the, in the economy. Uh, there are certain other things that we do. Uh, we have our sustainability reporting requirements for listed companies uh, to show how they are embedding sustainability in their daily operations. Um, so it's not only about financing projects, it's also about meeting global standards with regards to reporting on what we're doing uh, with regards to the environment, governance, and social uh, responsibilities. So I'm sure uh, in the conference here today, uh, CIS is really trying to bring to, to the front the whole question of um, how can we continue to drive appropriate corporate governance? How can we uh, continue to drive a reduction in carbon emissions? How can we continue to drive socially responsible investing um, how can we continue to drive um, initiatives that uh, will really uh, create for a resilient uh, capital market and in so doing a resilient economy for Nigeria. Now you talked about sustainable reporting requirements for listed companies. How does this work? What's the modus operandi? So our view of sustainable reporting is really um, geared towards uh, complying with the global reporting initiative uh, standards. Um, and it's an annual report similar to your annual financial statements uh, that gives uh, information on the value that you've added as a result of your uh, sustainability initiatives. Um, and uh, the Nigerian Stock Exchange has issued two reports, uh, for one for 2015 and one for 2014. So we're, we're leading in this space uh, and we've now uh, hosted two or three sustainability conferences for our listed companies uh, to sensitize them and to walk them through the various reporting formats um, and so you should see more sustainability reports uh, coming out uh, from listed companies uh, 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 down the line but it's not quarterly reporting it's, it's that was uh, Oscar Oyema the CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange and with that, we've come to the end of today's edition of Business Incorporated. Thank you for watching. I am Bolaji Akinwale.